Hunt is on for a killer tonight after violence at a house party ended in a stabbing attack. All the victims teenagers. The boy who was killed just 14 years old. CBS 2's Hazel Sanchez has more on the deadly stabbing from Morris Heights. A single candle sits on Barnes Avenue in Pelham Parkway in the Bronx, where 14-year-old Justin Falou lost his life. This woman left the small memorial. Other kids tried to hold him up like a, to help him. So my heart goes out to the mother and the family. I put that candle for that boy. Remnants of efforts to save the boy, fatally stabbed in the chest, are still on the street. Two 18-year-olds and a 17-year-old were also stabbed in the upper body. Those young men are still in the hospital. Witnesses say there was a house party going on in this apartment building behind me just after 3 o'clock Sunday morning. A fight broke out here and spilled into the street, and police say they don't know if the victims knew who attacked them. Neighbors are hoping video from surveillance cameras inside the apartment building will help police catch whomever took part in the attack. Children don't learn. I mean, don't they see enough tragedy every day to know better? Outside Falou's home in the Wakefield section of the Bronx, friends were overcome with grief. I saw the kid last night when I came home. Next door neighbor Peter Virouet says he worried about the crowd the 14-year-old hung out with. I used to tell Justin, listen, um, stop hanging out with these guys you're hanging out with because... You're not going to get anywhere. A life ended before knowing what the world has to offer. In the Bronx, Hazel Sanchez, CBS 2 News. The three other stabbing victims were rushed to Jacoby Hospital. So far, no details on their injuries.